Summershines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two little kids, and our cats. Ship kitties. Our ship kitties. But first, we gotta find a boat. So this is episode 18 of... V -V Virtual Boat Shopping. Today, we're gonna look at a boat that a couple of you have recommended in particular Roy and Matthew, and it's from your favorite ship maker, Nordhaven. Oh, Nordhaven, the old Nordy. So we love Nordhaven. So Can I, mean, I give a little backstory on Nordhaven? Give a backstory, go ahead. Nordhaven was started by Pacific Asian Enterprises. So the hull is built in Taiwan, and a lot of the woodwork is done and put in the hull, and then they're shipped over. And a lot of the finishing is done. There's an Dana up, Point. That, there's one in Dana Point. There's also uh, West Palm at the docks where we were, where our boat was. But that wasn't an official Nordhaven, was it? They, were, they did all the electronics and everything. Oh, I thought that was aftermarket. It was an approved Nordhaven. Anyway, great build. Their headquarters great boat. is in Dana Point, California, I believe. And bulletproof. I mean, I drive a Land Rover Defender slow. You know, so tough. You <laughs> so the Nordhaven is basically the water version of a Land Rover Defender, which I is why I love it. I think we should do a whole episode that paralleling the the ship brands and the automotive, the cars, automotive, the automotive. brands. And my favorite Nordhaven is the '62, which I think has been replaced by the '63. But that's just the You're dream obsessed. boat. Yeah, but the problem with Nordhavens is they're full displacement ships, meaning they're deep. And so in order to do the Great American Loop, you can't be any deeper and than slow. Yeah, any deeper than six feet, ideally less than five feet. We would really like our boat to draw less than the, like around four and a half feet. So that's a requirement of the loop. You can't be any taller than 19 feet six inches. So that's another requirement because of the Nord loop. Because Nordhavens have dry stacks. They're like a ship. The exhaust literally comes out the top. Yeah. So typically Nordhavens are deep and tall mm -hmm. and we need three staterooms. So to get one with three staterooms um, that meets the loop requirements, it just, it doesn't exist. Except... Nordhaven must have heard people's requests. I, I had no idea because I haven't looked at them in a few years. But around 2017, I can't quite figure out if it was 16 or 18, but let's just say around 2017, they introduced the Nordhaven Coastal Pilot 59. And it is their intro into semi-displacement hulls versus full displacement hulls. And you can get it in a three state room and it has the right draw. And a twin engine? Or draft. Yeah, um, well, let's look at it. Okay. So let's check it out. Because most Nordhavens are single engine with a wing engine. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, or we're gonna, we're gonna check this out. So this is a new thing for Nordhaven having um, a semi-displacement hull for people like us who aren't probably going to be out in the ocean and needing that full displacement. Can you tell people what a full displacement hull does? A full displacement is almost the amount of weight uh, that is above the waterline is also below the waterline. It's basically imagine grav and gravity pulling down harder on the top so that there's less of this motion versus a semi-displacement kind of puts a little bit more weight under there and then you have a planing hull, which is more like a speedboat. And that's barely any weight, and so you get a lot of this. So here's a planing hull, a semi-displacement hull, oh. and this is a full displacement hull. Oh, Do you like that analogy? Uh, that was a great analogy. Okay. So Nordhavens are amazing if you're like crossing an ocean. Yeah. But we don't need that. Four knots, six knots, go across the Atlantic all day long. They even come with uh, metal grates that you can put over your windows because there are stories. I read a story of a sea turtle that was in a wave <gasps> oh, no! that they crashed broke upon the side of the Nordhaven and their window would have been smashed, but they put their oh, no! sea grate, the, the grate covers over it. Poor so turtle. And there's no teak. It's like washed down, well, ready to go. Well, you haven't seen this one. It's, okay. it's, 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 it's an awesome vessel, but we don't need that for the loop. And, it's and, overkill. And we're not crossing any oceans. We are going to be on rivers, lakes, and um, intercoastal waterways. Did we talk about the Great Loop? This is the route right here. Ah! Isn't that amazing? <laughs> if Canada would just open. Yeah, so our goal this. is to do this in March, start in March of 2022 in Florida, and then we'll be in Canada summer of 2022. Anyway, let's look at the Nordhaven 59 Coastal Pilot. All right. Now, first thing we notice. It's a 2021, so this well, sucker's brand new. And whenever I see a call for price. <laughs> I did some research, okay? So because it's a new boat, there are no used ones on the market that I could find right now. That's subject to change. And best I could tell, the price of this is just shy of two million. So it's definitely more than we want to spend. Um, but who knows what will become available in the used market? 
in the next six months. And if you look at the graph for depreciation oh. of a new boat, it's not pretty. But Nordhavens <laughs> hold their value. Nordhavens really, really hold their value. Well. Like and the 62 foots that are now almost 20 years old are still in the 900 to a million. Yeah. So, you know, investment wise, our goal is to buy a boat, live on it for a year, do the loop, and then sell the boat. So, this would be a really easy boat, I think, to resell. Mm -hmm. I think it would probably hold its value. The problem is, I don't want to fork out $2 million for a brand new boat. I'd rather find one that was four years old. So, if anybody has a 2017 Nordhaven Coastal Pilot, let's look at this. Can boat. we look at the stats? Yeah. All right. Hull, semi displacement. Talked about that. Beam, 17 feet. Does I that get a dance? I love a beamy boat. Anything over 17 feet gets a dance. Length of the waterline is 50 feet 10 inches. So that's pretty small, actually. Yeah. But that's great. Max draft, 5 feet. Just... Wait. Okay, here's the stat. Here's a Nordhaven. So keep in mind that some of the Hatteras that we've looked at, which were on the heavy side, <gasps> for 54 feet were 55,000 pounds. This is a 50 foot boat. And it's 88,000 pounds. <laughs> so that's. Okay, I, it feels like it's gonna be a very solid ride. All right, I like. and it's got a two twin Cummings QS1, QSMs, which. The um, Cummins or Cummings? Cummins. There's no Did G. Did I say Cummings? Yeah, it's Cummins. Cummins. Yeah. Cummins. Diesels. All right, here, I think this is gonna amaze us. Here are the stats. Fresh water, 400 gallons. We've looked at some boats that had 100 gallons. 44 to be exact, that's a good number. Fuel tanks, most of the boats we've been looking at were ranging from, I think some had 300 up to maybe 700. This has 1,100 gallons. That's gonna be a fun trip to the gas station. And 88 gallons of poop. <laughs> that's a lot. It's not all poop. It's, yeah. But the holding tank's 88 gallons. So all of the statistics are like off the charts. The only thing we don't know is air height. Um, I couldn't find that anywhere. I have no idea if, if it's under the 19 foot 6 inch, uh, but I imagine there's a way to make it that way to hinge the arch, but we'll look at it. All right, and it's a wet exhaust versus most of them are a dry exhaust. Do we have... What does that mean? It, the uh, exhaust is under the water? Yeah, versus a stack. Oh, so that helps. Oh, most Nordhavens are dry exhaust. Gotcha. Yeah, they want the exhaust coming up high so that the diesel exhaust isn't all on the deck. Because gotcha. when you're going on a traditional boat like this, when you're going underway, the exhaust comes out, right? You have the doors open, you sometimes get the fumes coming uh, inside, you get this vortex uh, here. Which, by the way, so, boat fumes are a, a real issue, especially on ski boats. So Nordhaven. If you don't know about that. Google it. Brings the smoke and it goes. Okay, back. so that doesn't look too tall, and that that arch could yeah, possibly be Yeah, I'm sure Nordhaven arches uh, hinges their arch. Okay, so what do you think about the looks? I think it's kind of cool. It's very naval looking. Mm -hmm. Well, it's got that Nordhaven mm -hmm. beige. I love round port beige. lights. You got three of them. One, two, three. Well, four. Four. Okay, so looks department. This is interesting. So it's. Kind of a cockpit. It has a cockpit. I've looked at and this. And this looks like looked at and this looks like great space here. Yeah, it's not in. It's interesting that it's not enclosed, but you can certainly, I'm sure, add some ice and glass or screens of some sort. And you can just tell right here. Look, it's she's sitting in the water pretty deep. Okay, nice staples. I love big, thick staples. This is funny. What is that? A dishwasher? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Keep going. Okay, okay so that it looks actually good. has bunny pads. I this feel may like be the first Nordhaven with bunny, bunny pads. pads. Those are the. Pads Can you hear the argument at Nordhaven? I don't know, man. We can't put bunny pads. <laughs> We're, We're ship Nordhaven. builders. <laughs> okay, so here's our flybridge. I don't see a hinge. I didn't either, but I'm sure it can be added. That's the flybridge. Okay, so you got a davit and dinghy. Mm -hmm. And goes it can there. take up. I forget, they list the size of the um, tender it can take. Another thing, having been on a Nordhaven or two, just the beefiness of these stainless steel railings are so. Just Which is awesome. there. Okay, I love that there's a table up there. I love the extra seating. There's a reverse bench. Uh huh. It's not super cushy, it's, but it's great. Okay, this is fantastic. The, I, this is what sold me. On, I love the fact that there's this great play area mm -hmm. for the kids. That I guess that's the door to your engine room. Yep. Um, great play area for the kids. There's great painting space for you. Yep. If you enclosed it, it would be more you know all weather optional. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you could probably have a canvas stretch out over here that's retractable. Okay, so there's a couple, if you, if you Google these, there's different fit and finishes on these. I cannot that's figure out. a dark out, rosewood kind of. Yeah. But so that is, that is you're looking towards the stern of the boat. So it's an aft, uh, you walk in from aft deck on into the galley. Mm-hmm, which I, I like that a lot. I can't figure out, like this chair, you can't sit anybody at the sofa. That, that seems a little odd, but. Okay. 
Looks like a lot of seating options. It's a lot of seating and not a lot of floor space. And kids, we have, we kids have, play. yeah, we have a seven and a nine year old. That's a great galley though. Nordhaven makes fantastic galleys. I know. Very residential, but seaworthy. Look, you got fiddles. That hold your pots when you're underway. Mm, love this window, love that. Mm -hmm. That's a window there, huh? To pass your cocktails and food out. So there's your helm. So this is a different finish. I like this finish. You have a curio cabinet right by the helm. Or books. So, you know, Nordhaven, once again, that's like a straight up, usually it's their whole displays are just straight up for glare oh. to reduce the sun glare. Because they are, you're, you're a salty dog if you have a Nordhaven. You're a cool salty dog. I want to be friends with you. Not compared to other Nordhavens, though, this is very. This is like slim. a this is like a, a, a Nordhaven light. That's exactly what this is. It's a low calorie Nordhaven. Then I'll take it. Maybe two people sit here. Yeah, no, but there's so much. You've got all the seating beside smaller it. Smaller destroyer wheel. But it's not a tiny little. I mean, look how pretty that is. And I, that's your fridge and freezer, which looks full size residential. I can't tell about the oven. There's definitely a microwave and a dishwasher. My only negative is that like where do you do a burpee or yoga? I guess you gotta be outside. By the refrigerator. I mean it's doable. Lots, of, look at all this cabinet space. I love, once again, Nordhaven, these, the courtesy lighting inside is red for uh, That's nighttime. Gorgeous. And see this one, I like the interior better because it doesn't have the red chair and the stripes. But that's a different boat. Yeah, we got two different boats that somehow they're, funny. they're- Backsplash, that's, it, there's space around this thing here. That's kind of cool. Okay. Right, we've gone down. Now we're heading down into the state rooms. And mm -hmm. this, the Nordhaven 59 Coastal Pilot, you can get a two state room or a three state room. And what is this here? Washer dryer? Uh-huh, there's a, there's a Bosch washer and dryer, which okay. is a requirement for mama. Go on. Keep going. So here is, this is the three stateroom layout and it's got the bunks, it's got a full length locker and it's got drawers and storage. So I think it's totally doable for our kids. The two stateroom um, has a bigger master because we've carved out this space, but I think that's great for the kids. Mm -hmm. Nice port light. Uh-huh. And Both they've got Ventilation, plenty of there's an air vent. Look how they built in the AC vent there or heating. Very nice. So that's the, the VIP. So that's Tudor. Mm -hmm. That looks big. Tudor is big. looking large. Now we could also decide that we'd rather split that into two twins and have the kiddos have a bigger room. But Cabinet or space up here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's cabinetry there, but definitely, definitely there, there and there in a locker. Lots of vents. AKA One, two, closet. Three. And mom and daddy. That's interesting. Two different woods. So this is a barn door type closing thing. I like that. Pocket door. Mm -hmm. They're not pocket. But that's the head. Mm -hmm. See the red lighting, mm -hmm. courtesy lighting. That's great. Is that Perfect. the master? I think so. I think with the two stateroom, you get a more generous. Wait. That's the master. That must two be the head. head. I'm guessing. Okay, that makes more sense. That oh, looks, that more looks better. Woo! Mama can. Mama will like that. Okay. So is there a layout or? Uh... That's the fly bridge. Good. There's the main salon area, and then there is the bedroom configuration. So we're all four of the engines. So that's good. I also read the engine room is pretty incredible and Nordhaven has engineered the heat somehow in dealing and building larger boats I figured out how to keep the engine rooms cool so after running it it's not an oven in there. Or during run. I don't know exactly I should have paid more attention when I was reading the article all I remembered was that it's not super hot after running in the engine room which you will appreciate. There's Levos technology Three total blower fans, two intakes, and one exhaust. Each blower to be controlled by a rheostat to allow for reversible operation. Reversible blower operation will allow the operator to select which side intakes and which side exhaust, depending oh, on weather and sea conditions. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, Foul okay. Thrusters. So if the, if we could find yes, no, or maybe oh, I, I, hundred percent yes. Let's just ignore the price, but hundred percent yes. If we could find a used one. Yeah. It would be in the running. What's your, what's so your yes and what? No. Someone will have had to have bought one and want to sell it in the next six months. Uh, stranger things. Stranger have things happened. have happened. I don't know. What do you think? I think it's a fantastic boat. To cut through the chase, definitely. This is awesome. We just have to find a used one that has had a significant depreciation, which may yeah. not happen. So this might be a dream, yes, but it is a great boat. And thank you, Roy and Matthew, I think, who recommended it, and a couple other people. Yeah, a couple other people have recommended the Six. Nordhaven 59 Coastal Pilot. Maybe Two one day we'll up end up with the boat. Nordhaven. But we're gonna go water the money tree back there. I mean, if it were liveaboard, uh, I mean, like, we're fully liquidating, moving on, like, making it full-time life. But as the loop boat. For just a year. For just a year, or a year plus. 
it's a lot of investment. Well, I love it. I've, I'm putting it on the yes list. So there's not very many boats that make the yes list, and this is one of them. And if you want a mug or a hat, go to theboomershines.com and shop. Have you added anything new? I don't remember. She doesn't remember. Anyway. But we got t-shirts, uh, branded apparel. If you know another, uh, if you know of another Nordhaven model that meets our height and draft requirements and has three staterooms, let us know. Let us know. We'd love to hear it. Until Although I think I know all the Nordhavens. I've only been looking at them for 10 years. He's obsessed. Until then, thanks for watching and shine on.